Hello everyone, thanks for taking some time to watch this week's video update. I hope that you had a wonderful week. I hope that you're looking forward to the upcoming weekend as well. If you're watching this video on Friday, just a reminder that there's adoration of the Blessed Sacrament going on in the church. The church is open for you to come in for private prayer um, anytime until 7 p.m. Friday afternoon. When you come to adoration, um, you don't have to do anything in particular uh, or special. Uh, it's just time to sit and pray or uh, sit and be in the presence of the Lord in the Blessed Sacrament. If you'd like to say the rosary or read the Bible, or you're certainly welcome to, you're certainly welcome there to sit and just spend time and speak to the Lord. You can stay for however long you're able, five minutes, ten minutes, half hour, whatever you'd like. This weekend is certainly a very big weekend on our church calendar. It's Pentecost Sunday. It is the conclusion or the culmination of the Easter season. It celebrates the day when the Holy Spirit came upon the apostles gathered together in prayer with the Blessed Virgin Mary in the upper room. And from that upper room, they went out to preach the good news to all the world. And that mission continues uh, in our own time with the church's call in every place and age to make known the good news of Jesus. And, and that mission is the same. How we live it out, how we, uh, the methods that we use to, to proclaim the good news change over the years and generations, but the mission is the same. And we have the mission here at St. Mark of knowing Jesus and making him known, and that's our expression of this mission of the church to go out and share the good news. This is also a, a special weekend for us in that we are beginning our special prayer um, initiative we're at the beginning of every Mass uh, with the Rosary, the decade of the Rosary that we pray at every Mass. We will be praying by name for 10 streets within the boundaries of our parish. We're going to go uh, through all of the names of all of the streets in our parish. Uh, it's going to take about a month and a half to get through all of them. Um, so we're going to unite together as a community to, to really, really cover all of those streets and all of the people who live on those streets in prayer, uh, that the Holy Spirit will, will move the hearts of those folks and uh, either to um, embrace the faith uh, or to uh, be converted to the faith, that the Holy Spirit uh, might renew as we pray the face of the earth here in our particular corner of the Lord's Vineyard. So you'll be hearing that starting Saturday evening uh, at the 4 p.m. Mass, and like I said, going through until the end of June. So I hope you'll unite with us in prayer during that special praying of the Rosary. This weekend, we also uh, are celebrating Father Foley's 50th ordination anniversary. His actual ordination is uh, May 18th, Saturday, May 18th. Um, and we will be commemorating that cell anniversary at the 11 p.m. Mass on Sunday, May 19th, uh, with a coffee and cake in the McCall Center Auditorium to follow the Mass. Uh, certainly, 50 years is a, a very important milestone, uh, and uh, we give thanks to God for the gift of that, those 50 years of ministry and ask God's blessing upon Father uh, for the years of ministry, many, certainly, hopefully, that remain for him. Uh, and then just to mention, uh, June 2nd, we celebrate the Feast of Corpus Christi, or the Solemnity of the Most Holy Body and Blood of Christ. And as we have been doing over the last few years, we're going to have a Eucharistic procession on that day. And we're going to have that after the 9 o'clock Mass. So there'll be Mass, and then at the end of Mass will be Exposition of the Blessed Sacrament. And we will take the Blessed Sacrament in procession to two altars uh, that are, will be out on our campus. And then we'll come back into church for the final benediction. In this year of Eucharistic revival in our country, I think that the Corpus Christi procession is an important uh, manifestation of our faith in Jesus present in the Blessed Sacrament, to take him out uh, onto our campus, to ask him to bless our parish, to bless our entire Faustian community is certainly very important. Uh, every year, equally, uh, especially important this year in the Eucharistic revival. And then as an extra added bonus, uh, when the procession is over, the Kona ice truck will be here for free ice. Uh, I hope that uh, many people will be able to stay after that uh, to refresh themselves with some Kona ice after walking the campus with our Lord. 
So thanks for taking some time to watch this week's video update. Um, as I said, I hope you have a wonderful weekend, and I look forward to seeing you at Mass. God bless you.